What's up? Starting my workout here. It's still snowing a little bit. You might see some snowflakes. Got a lot to talk about. What we got to talk about? Got some news. Zoo's newsroom. Ed Whitlock, dead at 68 at 86. Dang. That guy. That guy. That guy was an inspiration, was that was what that guy was. You guys don't know who Ed Whitlock is. I've been following him for a couple years now. I don't have all probably all the numbers right, but I think he was a runner when he was young. And then he did not run for 20 years until his son started running. And then he started running again. And I think he ran a two, like a sub 230 marathon at age 48 or something. Which is disgustingly good in its own right. And then he, so then he goes on and starts setting age group records in the marathon. He has like a million age group records, all different distances actually, but the marathon is where he was really good. I think he broke, someone's got to verify these numbers, but did he break three hours at 70 years old? I know for a fact he broke four hours at 80, which is nuts. If you can, 80 years old. I mean, wow. If you get, give me a bunch of, give me, get me 10,000 80 year old people, right? 10,000 of them. You know what? Give me 80,000. Like, fill a stadium up. Like, think about, like, get them in the link. I want 60,000 80 year old people, which I wonder how many 80 year old people are even in the U.S. But give me 60,000 of them. Stick them in the stadium. And I'm going to bring them down one by one. I'm going to set up a track. And one by one, I want them to go out there and uh, just run a mile. I have them run a mile. Can you imagine what the average time would be? Dude, it would probably take some people like three hours. <laughs> Whitlock. He was 80. He ran a sub-four-hour marathon. I'm trying to think what pace that is. Is it eight-minute pace? 8.30 pace? Something? 8.30 pace, call it? Let's see. If you go, go eight-minute pace, so say you go nine-minute pace, that means you're through 10 mile in 90 minutes. That means you're through 20 mile in three hours. And then you have another 10K to go. Say it takes another hour. I think that's pretty much it. Somewhere between 8.30 and 9 probably, but... If I got 80 year olds and put them on the track, first of all, if I filled my stadium up, probably half of them couldn't even go like a quarter mile. No one is gonna be able to, I mean, it's just amazing what he did. He talk, people talk about like, like Usain Bolt and all these guys or, let's see what they do when they're 80. He is just a freak show, that guy. He's dead, it sucks. And the funny thing is, his training was so funny. I read this article about him. He used to, he didn't like plan anything. He, always, he had like 15 year old shoes. And he used to just get up and he'd run around a cemetery that was next to his house. He just run loops in the cemetery. Isn't that crazy? So he dead. He's bones now. It's crazy. Pro prostate cancer got him. Freaking cancer. I bet you his. Cardio, I mean, he wasn't going to die of a heart attack, I'll tell you that. His cardiovascular system must have been, like, off the charts. So, Whitlock's dead. Dude, live every day. That's what you can take away from that guy. He would probably tell you that, too. He'd be like, listen, don't waste a single day. Because it doesn't last forever. I feel good about today. I was playing at snowball fights with the kids. Went sledding, made soup. Now I'm on the trainer. Dude, it's a good day. It's a good day when you're training and active and outside a lot. Got the kids running around. Now I'm gonna do some intervals. After I warm up here. Consistency. My consistency on my training, got my specificity. Getting more specific. Always consistent. Now I'm gonna put some, now I'm gonna answer the volume and intensity question. How much volume do you need? Always start with volume. 
you're questioning your training, get the volume in first. Four weeks of good volume. Then throw in intervals. Don't put in intervals before you have some kind of trailing volume. Maybe try to run like, even tw like run 20 miles a week. Run it for four weeks. And then on the fifth week, start putting in tempo. Maybe some 400s. Keep everything simple like Whitlock did. That guy didn't even run a damn interval. And he blew people away. God, that guy was good. You gotta look up pictures on the internet too. Look like a skeleton. <laughs> Hilarious, dude. He must have weighed 100 pounds. He could run like the wind. 80, dude, 80? Wow. That's insane. I wonder if that'll be me one day. I don't know. Probably not. Maybe. I'll keep going. Why not? What the hell is she gonna do? That's what he probably figured, like, when you're old, he could just sit there and do nothing, or he could inspire a million people like he did. That mother, he inspires me. Damn, that's good. He's good. That guy was good. He's in the record books. Maybe it'll take freaking 100 years to break that record. You can't imagine a lot of 80-year-olds can do sub four-hour marathon. I can't imagine, it would be a lot. So, that's my thoughts. Get on that trainer. Be like Ed Whitlock. Never stop. He had his life so damn simple. I remember this interview. People were like thinking about talking about, he's like, no, that makes everything too complicated. It takes too much energy. He didn't even think about shit. He just laced up his sneakers and he ran around the damn cemetery. I think it was a three mile loop. He used to do it over and over again. Keep things simple. All that other stuff, it just takes mental energy. Just, your training should be as simple as it can be. To get your, I mean, it doesn't have to be any more complicated. Make it simple. That's why I like miles are good. Just get your miles in. Stop thinking about, just think about miles. I just gotta get out and do miles consistently. You'll do, you'll race better. All right, that's it. I gotta get to work here. What are we gonna do, you know? Last, last time, two times ago I did one minute on, one minute off. And then I did four minutes on last time, one minute off. And I would start my, start the interval and bump it up like 10% wattage. So I would start and then after two minutes, I'd go up 10%. So I don't know what I'm going to do today. Maybe I'll just try to ride steady 10 minutes. Or I could st start my 10 minute and start working up every two minutes. I like to move it instead of just sitting there for freaking at the same power. Maybe I'll start that, do a 10 minute and step up 10 watts every two minutes. Something like that. Make it up. Who cares? Does it really freaking matter? Probably. I mean, whatever. One, one minute on, one minute off, four minutes on, one minute off. You don't have to like, you'll know. You, when you're sitting there pounding on it, you're like, damn, this hurts. So that's good. Get through it. When I'm done, I'm going to have some soup that I made. Chill out. And then do it again tomorrow, you know? Maybe tomorrow I'll hit the pool first. I got to go to the beach tomorrow. Got to check out the shore house, open it up. So all right, good luck. Ed Whitlock, rest in peace. What else can you ask from for a life, dude? You inspired a lot of people. What else can you do? You get one chest shot, you get a little bit of time on the earth. If you can inspire people, that's a life well lived as far as I'm concerned. All right, I'm out. Peace out. Zoo out. Later.